strong shortlist is a diverse shortlist. A diversity of authors, a diversity of topics, a diversity of writing styles and a diversity of ideas and narratives. One of the most important things about the Australian History Award is that it can cover everything from colonial history, Aboriginal history, right through to political history and contemporary histories. That's one of the great things about the Australian History Prize. But there are things you look for, obviously, to bring that strength to the shortlist, to find the best books, and that would be literary merit. So the things like the plot and characterisation and the dialogue and the way the author manages to engage the reader. The fiction and poetry panels had one criteria, and that was literary excellence. It can be really hard to define what that is, but you know it immediately that you see it. From the very beginning, you have great confidence in the author. Their sentences move forward with confidence. They're well paced. The stories are surprising, original, and the characters really come to life. You get to know those fictional characters as if they're part of your family. Sometimes you know them better than yourself. In the non-fiction area, it can be very diverse. We can have things from Australians living overseas, Australian perspectives on overseas and political events, or indeed Australians in Australia. Another challenging thing, I think, in judging is to be able to uh, judge a, a, a picture book in the, the children's category uh, alongside um, a novel written for, for younger readers. You do need to bring different judging criteria into those because with a picture book, there needs to be a seamless marriage of the illustration and, and the written text. The illustrations are not just there as decoration, they're part of the total narrative of the book and that's really a crucial part of it. With the poetry, it's about language and about the way the mind moves through a poem. The best poets take language to the greatest heights.